Andrew Smilkameen. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Speaker, science as a way of knowing relies on adherence to a scientific method. In short, look, be skeptical about everything, think, challenge your belief in a way that others can copy, prove yourself wrong because you can't be ever proven right in science, rinse and repeat. It is this process that is the magic of science. This process is what fuels the addiction to curiosity and to wonder of many scientists. I started my professional life trying to illuminate things through science, trying to clarify apolitical information that was important for society. I realized quickly that information wasn't society's rate-limiting step. We knew enough about emissions, for example, and the negative impact on our economies, social cohesion, ecological health, and yet we still weren't seeing policy created in step with the evident risks. The real bottleneck was the people in policy-making chambers like this across the globe not being able to effectively leverage the insights of the scientific community on behalf of the people they represent. Wendy Zhu of the Canadian Science Policy Centre shared a thought with me yesterday, building upon this idea, saying, quote, it is important for the future of our society to strengthen the connections between science and policymaking. But science won't tell us what to do in this place. Our role here is to take the values we champion and overlay them onto the science, onto the boundaries of uncertainty that science identifies, and onto science's expectations of the outcomes of those decisions. Quote from the IRPP report in 2016, the input of science into policy should therefore be viewed not as advice on what should be done, but rather in terms of what is known, what is unknown, and, what, and how sure we are about it. Whether it's crafting risk reduction policy to navigate the onslaught of climate-related disasters, defining legislation to optimize the benefits of AI, or painting a clear picture of the danger of Meta's algorithm on the health of our children, science has a great deal to offer us as policymakers. It cannot offer solutions, but it does offer help. We just need to be ready to receive it. In two weeks, we will have about two dozen scientists visiting these halls through the Science Meets Parliament BC program to help and I hope we all look forward to building those bridges together. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.